Hello guys, we're back at the shop. Got some uh, brand new uh, JE forged pistons, inverted dish, inverted dome, whatever you want to say, uh, D cup, uh, pistons for our 406. And what we're going to have to do, we're going to go in here, we're going to have to hone these pistons out. They're uh, too tight. They don't have enough clearance. So you can see there, I don't know if you can see on the, we're just about two ten thousandths past zero. So, let me put my gloves on here. So this is called a truing sleeve, and we true our stones and our mandrels. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see I, you can see that cross hatch in there. We went in and honed that bore. Now our pin goes in, nice and free. You can see it falls through. We've got about five six tenths. Kind of hard to do this, something I hadn't had to do before. If you can see, I'm just about six tenths past the zero. And that's what we want. I'm going to do the others off uh, camera. Some of them I may come back, be back in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So we've got these done. Uh, Wayne's going to pick these up. We're going to take them to our final rinse tank, rinse our honing oil off, 
and get ready to uh, install the pistons on the rods. And uh, you can see you got a nice precision cross hatch. That cross hatch is great for holding oil. So we got five done, we got uh, three more to go. Okay guys, I'm back with you. But one of the things you want to do if you're doing this, sometimes you can heat this up. The uh, see if I can get this on the camera. Okay guys, I'm back with you. I guess I wasn't filming. We're right about seven ten thousandths. We're gonna flip around, we're gonna check the other side. Seven tenths. No taper. We're gonna put a little fresh, a little honey oil in there, kind of rinse out any micro debris we might have. There you go. Just like we like it. Nice, it's, it oscillates nice. That number on there is what our balance weight was when we balanced them, 622 grams. I'm gonna check it one more time, see if it cooled down. Nope. I'll check my other ones. That's good. That's good. This one, I think we'll hit it one more time. It cooled down maybe a tenth of a thousandth. There you go. Try these. I always like to kind of put a pin in there. There you go. There again, there's another piston with 621.9. Those were balanced within like a tenth of a gram. Those two, just kind of show you, those are all really good. That one was 621.8, so those were then like two tenths of a gram, they're really nice.
Wish I could get it. There we go. Just like jewelry, guys. Thanks for watching. I can't get a copyright infringement for the sound of the machine, can I? Okay, guys. This machine is the Sunnen LBB 1699. I've been using that since about June of uh, 1986. And she still looks pretty good. Yeah, I could clean her up a little bit, but it, it's, it's not too bad. It served me well. And uh, that's it. And that little gauge over we're using is called an AG300. And uh, pretty good gauge system. Thanks for watching.